yeah i have a big forehead and it really really pisses me off <laughs> I'm gonna stop looking at the viewfinder because my forehead is massive. Look at that. Look at look look. What the fuck? Hello. First, Vaseline on the lips before we begin. A bit of Vaseline. Hello and welcome back to another video. I am back with and hair and hair and hair. No, no, no. I need to go back to school. <laughs> I am I'm back with a hair update. Um, I I think okay. So I cut. I shaved all my hair. I shaved all my hair off in twenty on the twenty second. No, on the 20th of April. So it's been April, May, June, July, August. About three months now. And I'm back to sort of talk about what's been going on with my hair. Um, for anyone that's interested in my hair. Um, I haven't really been doing much to it um, at all. Oh, as you can see, it's been late. Do you know what? Yeah. I have a big forehead and... It really, really pisses me off. <laughs> anyway, with less, let me die. Let me, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm here to show you. I'm basically just gonna be chatting and talking to you about how I currently style it and what I do to it. To be honest, nothing. See, look how big my forehead is. I can't. I, I'm gonna stop looking at the viewfinder because my forehead is massive. Look at that. Look at look look. But you know what I've realised about life? Yeah, you can't have it all. And um, this is just one of the things that I just have. You know, I'm just going to have to rock it. There's nothing I can do about it, you know. Anyway, so my hair. You guys know that I had the... I had the, I, I, I had the problem in the middle area. Um, which I'm going to insert a clip of how it looked a couple of months ago. No, a couple of... I'm going to insert a clip of when it was at its worst. I'm talking about the bold spot that I had in the middle of my head. And I'm also going to insert the clip that I took... I think it was two days or three days ago of what it looks like now before I show you okay my hair is currently very very dry right now and what I add to my hair is um, this is just aloe vera and some a little bit of conditioner um, that's sort of stuck to the bottle and some water I just go ahead and spray that on my hair comb it out and show you guys everything that's been happening to it um we're just gonna this is just gonna be a chit chat this is literally what i do to my hair every every other day uh, most of the time i am wearing a hat if i'm honest with you so let me just quickly give this a good comb in i was very very tempted to dye my hair i really wanted to dye it like you know during this lovely summer that we've had i was gonna dye it but because i know i have a problem area i don't want to dye my hair and make anything worse and i've been looking at because i know they sell like natural hair dyes if you guys can recommend any because i know they have like you know like temporary hair dyes um i've seen it online before like so they've used um natural products to make the dye because I, I don't think it would be advisable for me to actually go and be bleaching my hair. Because I know I have issues already. I don't want to add to it and make it worse. So this is the hair all. Hold on, let me keep combing on. Let me keep combing. Give me one second. Oh, excuse the big forehead. But here it is. Three months growth. I haven't done anything. I haven't been doing anything to my hair nothing specifically i have left it alone hence why you haven't seen hair update i'm just going to show you my middle bit so before i show you the middle bit you know how some people we all have habits right some people bite their nails when they're focusing on something some people play with their belly button some people twist i don't know we all have habits and mine is playing with this and now because i don't have much hair like i go at it like i go at this middle bit and it is so bad but let me show you guys what it's currently looking like now 
so here it is so I'll give you like a quick look of what it looks like as I was saying before so you guys have seen what it looks like now I am very very tempted to just keep cutting I love this low life uh, low life I love this low haircut life because you can just literally get up and go it's like one less thing I have to worry about um, um, so yeah I absolutely I, I don't know I feel like cutting it all the way off and like dyeing it a nice I don't think I don't think blonde will suit me but I'm thinking like maybe a brown or something like that that kind of color that's what I'm thinking because yeah I don't know so how I'm styling my hair so this is how it's looking now you guys can still see this is my hair now this is my hair and there's natural glory so you guys may be wondering how I style the hair some good old Vaseline keep it keep it very very simple Vaseline does the trick I don't want to use gel in my hair so I get some Vaseline rub it together just put it all over and the Vaseline helps it say it, I've observed when I put Vaseline in my hair it's so soft it feels so so soft this is what I do guys some good old Vaseline and then I get I get a sponge, one of these. Um, the one that I was using before is actually, you know them sponges, they're called like magic erasers. I'm gonna go and grab it and show you guys. But I just get one of these and I just roll it around. Roll it around until I get the desired that I want. You can use, I'm sure this, they actually sell hair sponges at the shop, but this has been working fine for me. Hence why I haven't gone out to actually buy one. I just keep going and keep going and keep going until so basically the Vaseline acts like a gel so it will do the same thing if you were to add gel but the only difference is you don't have the stiffness that comes with putting gel in your hair and also it's just Vaseline so your hair your hair feels soft this is all I do to style my hair for now this is all I've been doing keeping it very very simple um, I need to look in the mirror to see guys I'll be back in a minute so I'm back this was the sponge I was using before they're called like magic eraser sponge they're called magic eraser sponges so if you have like a mark on the floor you're supposed to use this to wipe it without any soap and it supposedly supposed to get rid of the mark but it didn't work so i kept them in the cupboard and i just started using it for my hair but it's i've been used it for a while now so yeah this is getting dirty now so i need to either wash it i need to wash it so that's why i used this one today as you can see it still does the same it still does the same job i'll show you quickly now because my hairline starts from like all the way over there i feel like i need to do something to bring to bring something the thing is i have baby hairs you know i do you just you just you just can't see it because it starts all the way back there right so i like to get a bit more vaseline just come just bring the just bring something forward okay i can't do this no i can't do this with the I can't do this looking in the in the viewfinder. I've got to do this. I don't know how people do this or I need a mirror. I can't. Oh, hold on. Give me a second. Give me. I can't do this without. No, I need to. I can't see. So basically what I'm trying to say is I get Vaseline and I just use it to lay the front bits of my hair 
which I'm not doing a very good job right now because I'm using the viewfinder but you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to do and then I will typically get like a scarf which is some something like this will do as well and just put it here so I would so once that is done I get one of these any scarf will do just place it on my forehead <laughs> not not the actual hair just just where the baby hairs have been laid so i place it on this is just to help dry out the vaseline because if i don't then the vaseline stays there and that is basically what i do so i leave this on for like what five two minutes N nothing not a long time i don't leave it on for a long time but um i would love to sit here and say oh i used like a an, a product to help grow my middle bit back but i'm not gonna come to the i'm not gonna come on here and start lying and say that i use one magic thing and then now my hair is growing back in the middle i didn't do anything um i just i guess i just left it alone um which is something that i find very very uh tough because i like to play with my hair like i said so i left it alone and it's just doing its thing but i think the bold look might be something i want to dive into like a nice bold bold headed ball of ball <laughs> it's something that i think i might get into i don't know i'm um because because uh, one thing i have one thing i have realized is that one thing that i have realized is that my scalp is very very sensitive and i guess me doing braids and stuff like that is not ideal so but then it's like the more this grows i'm gonna have to do something to it and you know how it is during the winter months it gets very very cold and the hair ends up being very very dry and you just want to put it in protective styling and i don't know and i feel like um if you when it comes to wigs and weaves you have to invest in a very very good wig like an expensive one and i i don't got money for that so i, I don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know it's either i it's either i keep cutting it I don't know suggestions are welcomed suggestions are welcomed i feel like i'm just waffling on but let's take this off now here is the finished look see nothing there's nothing spectacular i'm such a plain jane it's unbelievable I, i've even been telling myself mon you need to fix up yourself you know spice it up a little you know you look the samey samey but anyway here's the finished look this is what it is let me come a bit closer so you guys can see I forgot to show you guys the aloe vera juice that I added with the water is this one from holland and barrett's that's it that's all i've been doing to my hair yeah i'm just i just love the fact that i can still like you know like when you go to have a shower i let the shower run down just let it run especially when it's been a long day especially when it's like especially when it's when you're having a tough day just let that shower run all the way through that's one thing i love about having short hair but anyway enough waffling thank you very much for watching and see you guys in my next one bye 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 also i have one more quick thing i want to say stay away from peanuts i can see the peanuts is really really affecting me on this side stay away from peanuts